Big question for you today, and something that you've probably heard many times, is that you know the body knows how to heal itself, but why in fibro is it not doing that? Why does it feel like it just won't heal itself? And how can we get it to start healing itself? That's the big question, right? So I want to take some time to talk a little bit about our bodies and how our bodies can heal themselves and how we can set the conditions right for your body to do just that. So. I want to introduce one of the one of the big pillars of our program. So obviously we work with a lot of fibro warriors um, to basically help overcome and beat fibromyalgia, but not just beat it, but beat it in the long term so that they have long term um, freedom from pain and chronic fatigue. Right. So how we set the body up for having the ideal conditions to heal itself. How do we do that? How do we get the body to start combating inflammation by itself, combating pain by itself? How do we get the body to start sleeping properly? That's a big one, right? How do we start to get the body to regulate the digestion, regulate circulation, so you're not too hot, not too cold all the time? How do we get the body to deal with emotional traumas? You know, the things that have been done to us, the things that have happened to us that have hurt our minds over time. And we've spent a lot of time, time on this, a lot of time researching this, uh, putting together basically a special method to accomplish this. And we've met a lot of experts. We've consulted with people all over the world I mean, I can think of, you know, China, the UK, US, Mexico, Canada. I've met docs from all over the place that are, are working with this type of thing. We even pulled one, one uh, expert from a medical facility that's literally dedicated to helping people who are considered to, to be hopeless cases by the, the, you know, the modern medical system. That's the kind of cases that they take on, you know, the so-called hopeless cases. So the big thing that we found, the big thing that we found that we can do and, and help people with is that there are there are certain molecules in the body that are intimately involved in basically everything every every process that the body has these little molecules they're little they're little gases and they're called gasotransmitters now these gases are involved in basically everything that your body does they're involved in your body's communication, like how your how each of the body systems communicate with each other. They're involved in your circulation, how your blood vessels function, how they dilate and contract. They're involved in how your body produces energy, how your your mitochondria, those little those little um, energy powerhouses that each of your cells have. They're involved in that process. They're involved in warming your body up. They're involved in cooling your body down. They're involved in your metabolism, how your body breaks down fats, how your body di digests. They facilitate the actions of your internal organs. They facilitate the actions of your immune system and how your immune system fights off infection. They're also involved in longevity, how long we live, and they are responsible for influencing your genes to promote longevity so that you live longer. But now if these gases are not properly regulated, if they're dysregulated, they can actually cause a huge variety of problems. So they have both the potential to harm you and the potential to heal you. And your body is producing them all the time, every moment of every day. And your body's trying to regulate them every moment of every day. You can think of it almost like water. Now, obviously water is a vital substance, something that you need to live, something you need to survive, right? Now, if you get the right amount of it, it's good for you, it's healthy for you. If you don't get enough of it, you start to become dehydrated. Your body systems literally start to fail. Now, if you get too much of it, you drown. So just like water, you need the correct amount of it. You need it to be regulated appropriately. You need your body, the water in your body regulated appropriately. How many people have been dealing with things like, like edema, you know, excessive water in the body, and yet you have a dry mouth all the time. This is your body being unable to regulate water properly. Gasotransmitters operate the same way. They need to be regulated. They need to be in the right quantities in order for them to properly serve your body. So in, in meeting with all these other, other experts, these practitioners, all these people that we've met around the world, we've come up with um, something we call gasotransmitter therapy or a basic set of exercises that we use to regulate the body's gasotransmitters so that the gasotransmitters can in turn regulate the body's systems. That's why we've made this one of the pillars of our program and why our fibro warriors have such long-term success. Because now their bodies take care of themselves. Now they know how to get their bodies to take care of themselves properly. So, you know, a good example of this, I worked with a lady a while back who had chronic sinus infections and she had been taking 
you know, anti-allergy medications. She'd done regular courses of antibiotics because of the infections. But of course, things are not getting better. She scheduled a surgery, which was due a couple months out. And uh, she just wanted some relief. She just wanted to be able to like sleep well and, 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 and breathe to some extent prior to this surgery. Right. So she wanted some relief in the meantime, which is why she came to me. So I met with her and looked at her specific case. And then we worked together on some basic gasotransmitter exercises that were particular to her, to her, to what she needed. So she did these every day. It took her about seven or eight minutes, seven or eight minutes every day to do these. And within a few weeks, she reported that her sinuses were opening. She reported that she wasn't needing the medicines that she had been taking. And after, later on, she actually canceled this surgery. I did a follow-up call and she had canceled the surgery because she was doing so well. And if she ever was having any kind of symptom, she realized that she could basically take care of it herself by utilizing this method. So now, even going forward, she's got a method to help take care of herself, to get her body to heal itself, rather than to be reliant on something else or have, have to use this particular surgery. It was a game changer for her. So I do wanna go over a very basic gastrotransmitter exercise that you can use right now uh, for your fibro, okay? So one of the biggest issues, I really wanted to address something that a lot of people have a problem with. So one of the biggest issues I hear from our fibro warriors is that they just can't sleep well. And of course, if you don't sleep well, it causes stress, it causes fatigue, and those things tend to cause more pain. So in addition to the, the, the normal gastrotransmitter work that I have people do, I always like to teach this one, something that you can do right when you lie in bed at night, something to help your body relax, calm down and get a better night's sleep. So while you're lying in bed at night, just lay, get yourself comfortable and you take in a nice deep breath through your nose. And then when you exhale, you're gonna do so through your mouth with a long, audible sigh, something like this. <sighs> and when you sigh, when you exhale, that will be longer than the inhale you took. So now repeat this, inhale and exhale. <sighs> and then you repeat it again. And then you repeat it again and really let the air collapse out of you. And then you do it again and again. And at some point, your body will naturally start to yawn. And that's the signal that you've done enough. When your body, when you start to yawn naturally, just relax and go to sleep. And at that point, most people don't have any trouble falling asleep and they tend to sleep more deeply. So that's a nice little tool to add to your, add to your fibro warrior tool belt that you can use tonight. Thanks for joining in today, everybody.